you very much. Thank you to the Opus team. I am very much delighted to be here today. NanoC is an advanced materials company. We don't make the devices that are shown here, but our materials are critical and vital to the future of chip manufacturing, solar cells, EV batteries, and a range of other electronic devices. I have a very capable team addressing a $9 billion market powered by some incredible tailwinds. We have 20 customers today writing approximately $14 million in supply agreements. As part of that, we've had to show our customers that we in fact have de-risk our technology, we've scaled up and are ready to go. We are fortunate, of course, to be backed by some incredible investors, the most notable of which is Race Data, founder and chairman of Analog Devices. I have a talented team coming from Cabot, Merck EMD, Avery Dennison, E-Inc., along with an incredible amount of homegrown talent as well. This talented team can go the distance. While the application set is really quite broad, it comes down to being a very simple business. First, we can manufacture these materials at scale. Second, we can add value by customizing them to meet the needs of our specific applications. And third, we work in partnership with customers to be able to create the pull through and lock ourselves in to their, their launches. What this creates is an incredible amount of leverage, both on people, intellectual property, and physical assets. The tailwinds for growth are longstanding, pushing the limits of Moore's law, combating climate change, and adding functionality with increased security. The fundamental challenge, of course, is that existing material solutions can't get there. The cost of chips on a silicon wafer have more than doubled in this last couple of years, and it's about to triple. Silicon solar cells, as an example, have reached their peak efficiency, and they're looking for more. And customers, of course, are demanding greater and greater security and added functionality. These are the challenges, the fundamental challenges that nanosteeds materials can uniquely enable. In the chip industry, we're working with three of the largest chip makers today. We have been working also with ASML, the largest equipment supplier. They have shown that the materials that we provide the chip makers can in fact more than double production and output. That alone is a tremendous cost savings. We have 15 customers in the solar business. This includes silicon tandem PV manufacturers, the next generation of silicon-based solar cells, and in thin film PV. In the case of the former, in tandem PV, our materials can provide, along with our customers, 30 to 50% more power from the same area with no increase or very little increase in weight and no added installation cost. In the case of thin film PV, which is a remarkable new technology coming to market, we can provide transparency, very low weight, and they're efficient enough that they can be used to power the Internet of Things indoors. In batteries, this is a relatively recent development for us. We are in advanced engagement today with one of the leading tier one battery suppliers. This is a name that you would recognize. They have come to NanoC to work with us to provide more power, a longer cycle life, and faster charging. In this process of venturing and partnering with customers, we've created extremely high barriers to entry. We are exclusive or sole source in many of these developments. We have patents and trade secrets to back that up, and we've established a very high cost and risk to switch. All of that drives very high margins, 60 to 80% gross margin, 30 to 40% EBITDA, and an incredible leverage on capital, generating two to five dollars of revenue per dollar of capital deployed. As we look ahead over the next five years, we're set, uh, set for growth, and by 2028, we think we'll be running at a revenue rate of around $200 million a year. That, of course, is driven by the contracts we mentioned earlier. From the exit standpoint, which is what we're all interested in, uh, we think we're on the pathway for to do that in less than three years, uh, based on the revenue uh, forecast. And as we exit, we can be exiting at about 10 times revenue and about 20 times EBITDA, which again, going back to the $200 million of revenue and 80 million EBITDA, that is a tremendous exit and makes NanoC an extraordinary opportunity. I will look forward to seeing you in the breakout room. Thank you very much.